At the time, I just thought, nobody cared about me. I just feel helpless and I want to be on my own. And life wasn't worth loving. Life wasn't worth loving. Life wasn't worth loving. If you're in trouble, you need to talk. If there's a problem, any issue at all, I mean, suicide is a very, very permanent solution to a temporary problem. And if, pe if there are people out there who feel alone and without support, it's a question of how we get that message to them. The first time I tried to come on suicide was on a children's home. That's when I was 16 and at the time I just thought nobody cared about me. That basically life wasn't worth loving. When I was 17, 18, like, I didn't think I would actually get the 25 because the suicidal thoughts were that bad and I had a few suicide attempts that failed. I just don't think about people turning day, don't think about what's out there and don't think about us being selfish, don't think about what could, how it could affect other people. Because where I was living was supportive of accommodation. I had a key worker and they sort of pointed me to organisations like Zest, Youth Life and places like that. But at that time, I wasn't ready to seek help. Like, I was just in a dark place. Staff for the house came to me and go, like, do, you want, do you want help or do you want to see anybody? And I, would turn, I was sitting thinking, I was all right, I need you just in case it does get worse. But then I was at that age thinking, I don't want to talk to nobody and just don't want to do nothing. Like. Life's hard for young people, I would say, much harder now because of the economy and so many other things, but you need to talk. I would encourage people also to just take stock and think about what sort of impact this will have on those around them, on their parents, on their siblings, on their children. It's going to cause a lot more suffering than it's going to ease. Because I was diagnosed with like having a depression, uh, I've sort of learned three signs and stuff. So if I need to, I go to my doctors. But the doctor just you know, recommends antidepressants, and yeah, they, you're grand after you take these here for thirty days, and you'd be ah, sweet. But depression can't be sort of regulated by just pills. It needs you need help to somebody you can talk to. Once I started talking to someone, it's whenever I, my feelings started easing off and knowing that there are people I can talk to, there are people who actually care for, caring for me and on, there are people I can turn to. Because when you go into a hospital and stuff, for self-harm and stuff, they just don't really, you're subhuman, you're, you're in there because you did this to yourself. They don't sort of understand that we did this because we're hurting and we need, it was a cry for our help, not a sort of quick an attention seeking way. Eventually I did go to counselling and at the start I thought it was, wasn't really helping but throughout time then it did and that sort of helped me to sort of think about why I actually was doing it and that, through that I learnt other ways to cope and how to process things instead of just blaming myself all the time. And there's always people around, like family, friends, even even you may not like at the time, even I, I I don't think it was family friends I could turn to, but once you turn to someone and once you talk to them about the way you're feeling, as well as a big relief, it will help you. You know, young people tell me, and I have a thousand friends. How many friends have you? And I'll say I have seven friends, and they'll laugh, and I say, but my seven friends are real friends. You need somebody real that you can talk to. Maybe it won't be your mum or your granny or your aunt, but. Come and find someone. I didn't think there was anybody there, but there was. When you might have to look a bit or talk to somebody, I and mean, that's going to be hard, but you can do it. Because like I've been to the rock bottom and further, like, but I'm now 
got out of that dark place and it doesn't, you don't have to end your life to sort problems out. There's other ways around it and you definitely can come out of it a better person, a stronger person. I'm training on the way and I have a wee child on the way and on. Everything's looking up because I've done that because I want to talk to someone and because I went down the road and wanted to go down. There, there are quite a number of organisations who are out there to help, but often people aren't aware of them. And it's getting out the positive message of the work that organisations are doing, the support that is there, and also just getting out more positive news <laughs> rather than the constant doom and gloom because, I mean, <laughs> Pressure builds on people of all ages, and I think the occasional ray of sunshine does a lot to sort of pick people up again.